That's maximum efficiency. And Keltazar, they're going to go to get the Fade Ball out, but it's only going to go into Hustler. It looks like he... Can he actually walk this one out? Oh, it looks like he may just pay for it with his life right here under the tower, playing way too aggressive. And there will be Keltazard getting first blood. Zephyr looking for a lift, maybe. He wants to lift Eryuka into his loving arms of Keltazard. No, they won't. ET is already back into the lane, so Hustler. Let the bashing begin. Now they go for a lift. They throw Eryuka back. And now they pop the open wounds as well. They're going to try and kill Eryuka here, even with the Fade Ball. Do they have enough damage? But they have to be careful here. Keltazan, one more click onto Eryuka, is going to try and sell up, and ET actually bashes down the Rubik, as Keltazan does not have enough damage, but he will clean up Hustler anyways, so still, still win. It's okay if the support dies, but if Keltazan gets the gold, why not? Last hits are lacking anyways, but he will be happy with this. In Retribution, not having a good time even with the level 2 reactive armor. Going for the stun. Do we have a dragon form? No, we do not, but it looks like they may be the brief fire will be enough. They burn the metal machine down. Last it. Ah, oh, CS. Needs to walk a bit further forward. Baiting the silencer right now, but they will go. Looking for the crush. They find out the stun first, and there we go. Now they can start hitting away into the silencer. But the arcane curse, that should be a quick kill. Minus two. And ADT are getting one. Trying to start bashing him into Sanke. Taking quite a lot of damage from the tower. He's going to start rack him down. But the Golden Kitty comes out. Not Golden Kitty. Anyways, that's going to be Kitty. And now the stun. Fire Blast. Sanke baiting him a bit. But that Orb of Venom, man. He's not afraid. ADTR says no fear, no fear whatsoever. Looking for the crush maybe. But Koala will take care of the Kitty first. Keltazar looks like he wants to go here into Eryuka. Looks like he will find himself a very, very quick and easy kill. There we go. And of course, the Slada playing a bit too close, but Hustler, will he find a return kill? I think he might. Bash! ET gets it, and it's a huge killing spree going the way of the Elder Titan. Yeah, so 5 to 4, this game pretty active as we almost actually hit 2 kills a minute. Ogre will suicide again. Koala is playing very, very safe. Might need to invest into one of those raindrops already soon. Yeah, but yeah, but you. Yeah, Retribution can't be killed now, even with the dragon's tail and all. I actually highly doubt that they can even kill him, even if they pull in the Ogre Magi. Silence are coming in just to do a bit of harassment. They have the Chakram available. Looks like they want to go. ADTR, do they have enough damage? Yabu should be dying here, but no, he's gonna pop the one charges. It looks like he will be okay. His proxy crushed to the backside and he will go down to the tower. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Koala needs to be careful here, Sanke. Wow, thank you. Koala. Looks like they will go for the turnaround and the crush. They didn't change the stuns properly, but Sanke. Let's see what Rubik can possibly steal. Needs to be careful here, but the Omni slash Zephyr playing a bit too close to the sun and end up, ends up getting burned. Yeah, you want to steal a spell, but I don't think you're walking like that. So anyways, one more plus two going to your silencer. Brain is going bigger to fit that nice big crown of his. Middle lane looks like they will go for the raw. Onto the DK, do we have a global silence? We just pop out the stun and that'd be a very quick kill into Yabu and another plus two. And this is a really big plus two as well because he has such a low mana pool already. He has to rely on a bottle. But Keltazard, now I'm just gonna pop the rage and he's just gonna run away from this one, trying to rotate into at least get a return kill. Not happening this time. Yeah, I need to get a stun into Eryuka with the wild axes as well, but oh, he's actually really low retribution. Think about going in, but no, he immediately pops the rage. Do you want to try right clicking into retribution? He's very, very low. Do they have enough damage? Popping the open wounds, they will find a kill into Lifestealer. And now they want to go back in. Koala looking for the crush. He did already use it, and that should be the end of the story. And it looks like, alright, RQ, they do hold the tower. Not giving away any free objectives. Still pretty big. He's going to try for the TP out, Keltazar, do they have enough damage? Very, very close. If you had two more swipes in, that would have been very quick. The lane actually not beautiful stomp and the global silence not going to be able to do much. The DK is stuck inside the Chakra. Retribution wants to finish off the kill here. Nice stun coming up from NDTR. The pings, 
The dun ding 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 and not gonna be enough as the Timbersaw will find a return. Koala getting the crash and they will find the ET. Now Keltasai going straight into Ariuka. He wants the Beastmaster. He says tasty, tasty, tasty. And now they trying to go for one more. They get the stun up onto the proxy. Proxy crushed up as well. Four kill for two trade under the tier one. Not worth it diving like that. And that was definitely not issues of ping. Maybe that one you can say was ping. But Retribution now gonna just cut out the Seda and he needs to run before the Storm comes in. Looking for the stun. They find one. And of course looking for the crush. Bang. With the amplified damage, with the open wounds, this should be a very quick kill. Yes, very, very big, big kill. And Kelt is out on a mega kill streak as the Indonesians find themselves more dominant and a bit more momentum. Doesn't seem like RQ. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they know what's going on. But looks like they will try for a bit of flank around. They pop the dragon's tail into the Timbersaw's face. They bring him down again. Retribution. Yeah, I would say he's definitely getting some. Yeah, his proxy is going to follow his teammate. But they know what's going on, the smoke breaks, going for the brief fire, they see Yabiu, Ariuka going in for the roar right now, Yabi Yabi you, Yabi Yabi did, that's what he is, and the us bit of bang, but the Khan Umbert toggles way through this and he gets put to sleep, so Juggernaut getting a very very quick and easy kill. Slaughter, the Mongols, maybe thinking about going to Zephyr here, looking for a crush, Koala, on the hunt, he is looking for someone, need to find a crush, finds the crush, and there should be the ET down, they won't even get the infest out. Ogre, game freezing again, not like this. Very, very quick, and he dies. Alright, so RRQ, now they're gonna go for a bit more. Do they have a smoke? Not really, but Koala looking to find another infest kill. That was the. De It looks like they want to try a bit for the fight here. It looks like they may have found the ogre. His ADTR caught out all alone of his pants down. And meanwhile, over the bottom lane, looks. Can they try for the kill into the silencer? He has the global silence. And they're trying to back off as Mongols are looking for a fight. They already did the Necro books up. Everyone's up and ready. Zephyr. They may have found it with the Astral Spirit going for the lift back. Bang. Actually, it will not be enough. He pops out his own healing ward. But that's all it's going to be able to do. Gonna try and chase, and it looks like he will be the lone casualty here as Zephyr will go down. So, two support pickups here for the Mongols to find themselves a bit of leeway. And hopefully a way back into this game. He has eyes which remind me of my crazy ex-girlfriend. You know the kind of eyes where like, where were you? You know the Justin Bieber cre overattached girlfriend meme? Yeah, that one. Well, it looks like they may have found Proxy going for the crush with the global signs. Perfect timing and the last word over to Slada's face. Rejected, not gonna say anything, but Sanke gonna get stunned up with the multicast. Maybe they wanna try and turn this around. Earth, but they're coming out, and that should be down to Koala. And now, oh, the roar into Life Stealer with the Chakram as well. This should be Kelta Zell. He pops the rage going straight after the TP out, and he will now too much damage as the Beastmaster with the Inner Beast Aura will end up killing him. ADTR now on the run. Retribution, look for the Chakram, finding the slow. This is ready to go back for the comeback fight. And ADTR, we're gonna cut down Sanke. Down goes ADTR. And over here, down goes Rubik as well. Four kills going the way of the Mongols as they find themselves definitely back into this game. 15 to 16 and a 2100 gold swing. The Mongols. Top lane. Juggernaut with the Diffuser and Manta style. Could look to be into a Scotty. But over in the bottom lane, they find the silence of proxy, 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 multicast, dragon tail to the face. Yabu says, tasty. In the top lane, now this is where they try for a trade. They know they are behind. Looking for the Astral Spirit stomp, maybe. And actually, no, blinks all the way forward. Nicely done onto the ET. Do we have to stun Fade Ball and the Brief Fire? He will be toasted down, burning that ET into the ground. And Sanke will get the ADTR once again all the way in front. Proxy. They have a global silence. This is a bad idea. ADTR needs to back out Sanke. Diffuser charge. ADTR out of mana, out of life. But now the stun. Dragonite. Now the global silence comes out. The Mongols want to try and turn things around. Retribution. Now the Omni Slash. Trying to armlet toggles way through this. Yabu. He can't do it. The raw counter roll comes out from the Rubik who did steal it. But that's going to be not enough. And we're ready. Can he kill him off here? No. Zephyr does get a TP out. So two heroes go down. And RRQ need the blink initiation. I think they know. With the blink crush, maybe. Nobody immediately gets out, but the Amplify and the counter roll stolen by the Rubik earlier on. Nicely done, and that's gonna be a very, very big kill. Mega kill streak going to the slaughter, and they find themselves a bit more respite. But looking at the top lane, Mongo's proxy is still pushing out this lane. Maybe puts a sneaky ward down. Retribution. Uh. Okay. 
Maybe he thinks these are gloves, you know what? They're pinging him out. Blinks all the way inside. They want to try and find him. Look at the crush. Everyone's flying inside, but they're pinging Ariuka. Can they find a stun? There we go. They get the vision. They lift him up into the air. Beastmaster tossed up and down like a toy, and he will go down to the life stealer. Big killing spree going the way of this guy here. E.T. Hustler, you might want to be careful. Looks like they may have found him. In fact, instead, they find the Timbersaw. Look at the crush. Infest combo. There we go. Down goes Timber, and down goes Bloodstone Charges as well. Big kill. Sniff, sniff. I know where they are. I think him are going in to go for the raw and blink initiation, but the team is too far behind now. The us and the global science looks like they will find Sound K first, but the Omni Slash tossing it around and actually going over to the back line. Will they find anyone? Anyone blinks out just in the nick of time as well. But over to the back line, RQ does follow Sound K, bringing him down, burning him to the ground. Hustler now trying for the crush. Koala needs to blink forward. Zephyr going for the counter roll, steals it, and ET will be stunned up. And now can they find the Timbersaw? Can they bring this big machine now? Lift it up into the air, toss back into the trees. Retribution trying to Timber Chain away, but that's already two for two trade. He just gonna be popped. Yabu gonna try and chase. He has a blink dagger. Gonna try and make it for Yabu Timbersaw. Retribution. Serving it to RIQ. But in the middle of all these heroes, he will go down. And in the end, it's going to be a 2 for 3 trade. As Kel'Thuzad would be very, very happy with this. Vision. They're waiting for the bottom lane for someone to jump in. Ariuka's waiting for his moment to pounce. But RIQ going for a bit of a smoke. They find Proxy. Dying. And a gank. Often around and try to find these tiny kills here and there. Ariuka waiting inside the trees. I don't think you jump Keltazar, not like this. But Sanke is now here. Now we go for the raw. And we're going for the army slash made, but nice. Beautiful double crush into the earth splitter. Actually, no, catches him to the Ogre Magi. And Keltazar looks like, will he actually die here? He needs to on the toggle his way through this. They find one, they find two. Nicely done for Sanke. But over the back line, looks like Dragonite will finish off the ET. Gem is on the floor. Now, Zephyr looking for the lift back. They find the Juggernaut. Can they find the crush? Yabu. Yeah, that damage into Sanke now diffuses off the amplified damage. They need to turn use it back up again. Looking for the bash. Sanke, Golden Kitty, take care of the kitty. And that's gonna be the Duggernaut going down two for two trade. But here comes Chakram. Angry, angry boy. Sanke is not going down. Timbersaw will finish off the slaughter, ripping that salmon to shreds. And Yabu, now the dragon needs to run this big blue dragon. Lotus Orb. Yabu will go down. So four heroes going down in Mongols. Say hey, we're back. Oh the courier snipe! Tier 2, Sanke gonna use up that nice little kitty. He actually did go back for the Lincolns. And he will take the tower. It looks like he wants to go back in and go for the crush. Beautiful timing. They bring Sanke down, who plays way too aggressive. And Koala, looks like he may have found Proxy. Kel'Thuzad gonna use those face boots. He wants to chase Proxy. He wants that kill. Ariuka at the back line using the rods. A very defensive one though. And Koala looking for the crush. Unfortunately, the arcane curse was still there. Don't forget the extended duration every time you cast. Alright, so RRQ, gonna try and get some chip damage in. We'll see whether they, they can successfully force out the buybacks. Zephyr going in for the Teleclinicist lift. Into the Koala's crush, landing into two heroes. Pretty big beast master goes down, and that's me. Retribution gonna try and cut down the Yoga Magi. Buyback out from the Juggernaut. Out. The Global Science is very, very awkward though. And now RRQ will be happy to back off and try to at least reset the fight. But now the Chakram cutting into Yabu, and they do have a stun available. Nice double crush against once again from Koala. And now gonna try and bring Sanke down, who's gonna spin. No, he actually stole the Global Science. Woo, Zephyr, what a play! Can they kill Sanke? He'll be forced out by a proxy. And that'll be the end of that story as Keltazan, meanwhile, in the world of Koala going for the crush again and the amplified damage, turning on a bit of both. But now the Omnisage bouncing around between all these heroes, Yabu and Keltazan will both go down. So Silencer and Jug getting some extra intel. Three heroes down and Mongol using the scan. They know that nobody's there. Whew, they're at the very, very tip. Looks like they may have found the ET for staffing for it. They find a silencer, they bring him down immediately. Down goes silencer, but no global silence for him. So by the time he comes up, he should have it back up. And this is where they try to decide, okay, let's just quickly to Roshan. The Mongols need to do whatever they can with the up splitter. Now we should have the back line. DK stuck into Ariuka. They're getting the crush. You need to kill the Juggernaut. You need to time the stuns properly. But Sanke popping the Mantis Tower. Sanke gonna try and run away from this one, but too much damage. He will go down here, I think. Yes, he will. And Lifestealer getting a ton of damage, but hold on, Retribution coming in and cleaning up the dragon, stuck in the world of hurt. And now Zephyr tossed up into the air, that telekinesis from the Lotus Orb. And oh my god, Timbers are getting one more kill into the Ogre Magi. Zephyr. Feedbot doing a bit of damage onto Ariuka and Retribution, but now they're going back in for the crush. Ooh, a lot of damage from the Whirling Blades. Kelter's is going to go back in, need to do whatever he can. Choo, 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 eat through that machine. 
Life stealer, robot stealer, whatever. I don't know. Bite through it. Kill the Transformers. Don't forget, this is Terminator all day again. And kill the zombies over Terminator. There we go. And four heroes down. RRQ find themselves a bit of an opening. Can they do maybe get rid of that Aquila? Go into a Basher. I wouldn't even say no to a BKB. And if you look at Retribution, I guess this should be an Eggs or it could be an Octarine Core. Still, both items would be good. Hustler could be going for a Crimson Guard. It's going to be big against RRQ. Top lane, they're still trying to push again as Retribution continuously keeps the Lincoln Sphere up. Ryuka can still try to rat, but it doesn't seem like he wants to, you know, it doesn't seem like he wants to commit to this full time. You overcommit, and that's a bad thing. Yabu all alone though, going straight for the roll. Looks like he's gonna get caught out here. The up split to follow. Yabu goes down. He does a buyback, but he doesn't. The ideal situation would not be to use it. Getting the crush, taking care of all these creeps. Maybe find a bit. Looking for the crush. They find Sanke. They break the Lincolns. Can they kill Sanke? Looking for a bash. They need a bash. He's gonna try and spin with the guy on the bash. They need one more. Amplify onto him. is gonna chase Sanke. On the bright side, now Sanke gets to control the silencer. Control him. Control your teammate. <laughs> and Ryuka has to run all the way back to base Ghetto style Slada going in immediately on the crush silencer not like this Lotus up coming down and that's gonna be the silencer down and now nice getting a bit of a stomp catching it to two heroes now of the earth split can they kill someone here no I'm really just kidding retribution going all the way ham right here in between all these heroes dragon tail to his backside Stunned up onto Yabu, but it looks as a re retribution, and they'll, they'll just run away. But I'll lift it up into the air. Ariuka will go down. Dragonite getting the kill. Beastmaster buying back. Now the Lotus Orb. Can Retribution kill anyone here? He needs to kill someone. Sanke needs to go ahead. The Omni Slash flying around. Can he kill ADTR? Yes, he will. He needs to kill this Dragonite. They will also bring him to the grave. The Dragon Slayers are coming out. And now no beautiful double crush. Now the stolen roll again from the Rubik. Sanke goes down. Oh, no buyback onto him. Disaster as Keltazar trying to right click Ariuka down. And Ariuka will finally die. Yes, he will. 3 for 3 trade. And now it looks like the ET will also follow them into the grave. Rubik buying back. ET buying back. Everybody's buying back. Retribution against the world. Do you regret any last words? Yes, there is. GG easy. That's what they're gonna say, I think. Nah, just kidding. And actually, yes, Rubik gonna clean them off with his own stolen timber chain. And this is where they just charge down the middle. Koala. Crush. Okay. And they still hold. They still hold. You have buyback on your timber saw. So this game not necessarily over. Mongols could pull off some amazing Naga. <laughs> Micro, I don't know. And right now the global slant is flying out. But the Ghost Scepter, they really can't kill him off. And now Kelta's are going to start bashing away. Swiping away at the barracks. But they decide... Not sure where they're going. Killing off the ET first instead. No buyback onto your Elder Titan. Looks like they may have found someone else. They may have found Proxy going to fall stuff for it. Or rather, the ghost of Proxy. Proxy goes down. The Mongols. This could be it. Or this should be it. RRQ. And they will be very, very happy with what they took. And what they destroyed. And now coming in for the TP. Let's see what more. Can you do it? Ariyuka. Laying out the hawk, four staffs himself, four staff into the loving arms of the fish. Retribution. Now the global silence coming out, but that was stolen away by Zephyr, and that's gonna be the. Oh no, not like this, Mongols. Now the rage buyback from Retribution. He's gonna fly out of you and his koala with the invest still there. Zephyr, can he take this top lane of range racks? I think they will. Nothing to stop them. Nobody can. Sanke, this is where he just rage. This is where he just rages and just charges down the bottom lane and say like, screw you team, I'm gonna go farm. But hold on, stunned up again, the dragon tail to his face, now the Omni Slash, can he kill anyone here? No, he cannot. In between all these heroes, this should be the GG called soon, and Retribution says, I regret, there we go, those are my last words, GG. So RRQ, unfortunate way to end the game, but really there was no way of doing anything about it. And 2-0 to RRQ. Very, very unfortunate for Mongols. I actually felt they had a chance of taking this game until that tiny moment where Sanke got caught up. So... Alright. 